Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Converted from Islam to Christianity two years ago. Um, today I'm, um, my message is this, um, it's a very strange message, you're going to be surprised. I'm asking you um, Muslims who are watching my channel to be better Muslims. That is, that is what I'm going to be saying to you today, be better Muslims um, and follow the words in your Quran because you're not doing so at the moment and it's, and it's hypocritical and it's blasphemous. Um, uh, a lot of people on my channel have been telling me, you know, the Bible is corrupt. This is blasphemous because we know the words, the word of God is not corruptible. It says so in in your Quran and it says so in the Injil. So don't say that. Um, and also, um, y you are told to read the Injil. You are told to read the Torah. So uh, we're not told to read the Quran. You are told to read the Injil and the Torah, um, and that's what you should do. Um, I'm going to read to you now Surah 10, verse 94. So if you, O Muhammad, are in doubt concerning that which we have revealed unto you, open brackets, that your name is written in the Torah and the Injil, close brackets, then ask those who are reading the book, the Torah and the Injil, before you. Now, uh, the angel Gabriel is telling Muhammad. Go read the Torah in the Injil. If it were corrupted, I can assure you he would not tell him to read it. But he does very clearly. I'll read it to you again. Um, your, y y it says, then ask those who are reading the book, the Torah in the Injil. If you're, if you're, if you are in doubt, then read the Torah in the Injil. This is what it's saying. Now, this is number one. The the Bible in the time of Muhammad was not corrupted and it definitely was not corrupt and, and this is this is we have here proof it was not corrupted if it were uh, angel Jibreel would not be telling Muhammad to go read it right now if we know that it wasn't corrupted at the time of Muhammad then the only other point of time in which it could have been corrupted is afterwards but we know this is not true because we have manuscripts that predate Muhammad in which the the uh, uh, in which the Bible is identical to manuscripts that come after Muhammad. So the, the both both manuscripts, both before Muhammad and after, are identical. So no corruption could have taken place after, and definitely no corruption was there at the time of Muhammad because he was told to read the Gospel and the Torah. Now um, I'm going to read to you again a different verse now from Surah 21, verse 7, and we sent not before you, O Muhammad, but men to whom we revealed. So ask the people of the reminder, the scriptures, the Torah and the Injil, if you do not know. Ask us. Ask us. This is what your Quran is saying. Um, and again, Surah 29, verse 46. And argue not with the, pe with the people of the scripture, the Jews and the Christians. Argue not with the people of the scripture unless it be in a way that is better um, with good words and in good manner so don't insult me anymore because it's telling you, you here not not to insult me <coughs> and inviting them to Islamic monotheism with his verses well I'm already monotheistic so I don't really need this invitation except with such of them who do wrong and say to them we believe in that which has been revealed to us and which has been revealed to you. It's telling you right here to say to me, we believe in that which has been revealed to us and has been revealed to you. It, it, it says it right here. We believe in that which has been revealed to us and has been revealed to you. What has been revealed to me is this, is the Holy Bible. What has been revealed to you is the Quran. Now, your Quran is telling you to tell me we believe in that which has been revealed to us and that which has been revealed to you. Anyone who tells me on my channel that they don't believe in what's been revealed to me is being, uh, is being blasphemous and is not a good Muslim. Um, again, I want to read from Surah 29 verse 49. Nay, but they, the clear ayat, um, i.e. the description and the qualities of Prophet Muhammad written in the Torah and the Injil, are preserved in the breasts of those who have been given knowledge among the people of the scriptures. It's been preserved. 
This, my friends, has been preserved. It says it in your book. And it also says that this book prophesies uh, about your prophet and, um, and it doesn't. So your prophet is not a true prophet. And um, I've proved this to you using your own book. So um, <coughs> let me go to my book now, which we've just found out I, you know, I'm supposed to read and you are supposed to read. And let us see what it says in here. Okay. Um, first thing is, it says, if you want to know, if you want to know if someone is really from God, because there's going to be a lot of false prophets. If you want to know if someone's really from God, follow this advice. So this is what it says. I'm quoting from 1 John, chapter 4, verse 1. Dear friends, do not believe in every spirit, but test the spirits to see if they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus Christ is from God is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and is now already in the, word, in the world. Muhammad does not, uh, does not fulfill this, um, th this um, criteria. He fails it. He's an antichrist, according to um, the Bible, which Angel Gabriel told you to read, and told Muhammad to read. And he also um, is is not from God. Okay. Revelation is uh, the last chapter in the Bible, and it is the last revelation to mankind. There is no revelation after this. How do we know? Because it says. Um, in verse in chapter 22, which is the last chapter of the Bible, last, last chapter of Revelation, verse 18, I warn everyone who hears the words of prophecy of this book. If anyone adds anything to them, God will add to him the plagues described in this book. This is the word of the Lord. Praise be to God. Now, Muhammad adds to the words of the God. Uh, he adds to to the, the 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 Bible. He adds to it, and. Um, and that already shows, you know, he's he's uh, contradicting the revelation that says it's closed. No one can re reveal anything any anymore. And it also shows that Muhammad, the fact that he is um, rejects Christ, shows that he's an antichrist and that he's not from God because the Bible tells us so. Uh, this is the word of the of the Lord. Praise be to God. I follow this. Bible. I follow the words of God. I do not think that they are corrupted. I read them every single day, and you should too. And in there, you will find the truth, my friends. I pray for you. I hope that you have a blessed 2009. And uh, I really pray that from now on, I will not be receiving any blasphemy or hypocrisy.